guys, welcome back to Gloss and Sparkle. So what I have for you today is a shoe declutter. This is such a long time coming. I'm so excited to be able to do this today. I am definitely a shoe person, so don't be surprised when there's a lot of shoes. I'm actually just going to be doing heels today because... There's a lot, and I will be doing flats and sandals in another video, but I just wanted to focus on heels today, and I even had to have my husband help me get all of my heels into my filming room from my closet because it was a struggle. So, I guess without further ado, let's get started. So basically, I just want to get rid of the ones that I don't wear anymore, or I just really don't like anymore, they're not my style. And yeah, I hope to get rid of maybe 20 pairs. I'm going to set that as my goal. If I reach it, I uh, great. If I don't, well then, uh, I don't know. So the first pair are these nude pumps from Aldo. I really just am not into these anymore, so I'm going to declutter these. The next pair is from BCB Generation. They are just these chartreuse pumps. I actually wore these last night. I love these. I'm definitely keeping these. This next pair is a chunky heel from Target. This is the brand Massimo, and I bought these a while ago. I did like this whole gold sole detailing with a thick heel, but really they're not that comfortable. I'm just going to get rid of them. The next pair are some booties, and these are Sam and Libby for Target, I think. Or is it just Sam and Libby? I don't know. But these are really, really cute. I wear these all the time in the fall, so I'm definitely keeping these. Next is a pair of wedges. I thought I was going to wear these. I'm not even really sure I ever wore them. I bought them at Forever 21 and yeah, we're getting rid of these. So this next pair is from Madison by Shoe Dazzle. It's kind of like a booty but also a wedge. I do still think these are cute. These are not the most comfortable shoes so I may just try to keep these one more time and if I don't wear them I'll get rid of them but I'll keep them for now. So next is a pair of heels that I got from a clothes swap actually and I thought these were so cute. I wore them like once or twice, they're from Tahari, but I honestly just don't wear them that much so I guess I'll declutter these. So this next pair is definitely very very fancy. I found these at Forever 21 and I just fell in love with them. I still think that they are so beautiful, just a glittery pump and I'm going to keep these. This next pair is actually one of my favorite shoes. It's just a T-strap from Shoe Mint. They're patent leather and I love these, so I'm definitely keeping these. This next pair is from Aldo. I actually can't find the other one. Not that I was going to keep them anyway, but I got these so, so long ago. They were cute at the time, but I'm pretty much done with them. We're going to pass on these. Next is a pair of cork heels from The Limited. I definitely still wear these and I like them because they're neutral, so I'll keep these. So this next pair, they're from Steve Madden. I bought them when this huge sole was really in, and I don't know, I like them, but I just don't see myself wearing them, so we're going to get rid of these. So this pair I bought at JCPenney's. I was walking around the mall, and we had been there for so long. I was wearing flats, which is not a good thing for me to do for a long time, and my feet hurt so bad, so I needed to buy some heels <laughs> to wear the rest of the day around the mall, so I purchased these, and they're really comfortable, so I'm keeping these. So this next pair, they are so old, they are from Charlotte Russe and I loved them because they were a Dorsey pump, but I wore these into the ground and now they've got to go. So again, I got these when the huge sole was super in. I still think they're really pretty, but I will actually never get rid of these because my grandma purchased them for me, so I'm going to keep these. So this next pair is a pair of wedges from Coach. I mean, they're cute, but I'm not sure. I think I'm going to put these in a maybe pile. So this next pair of wedges is from Baker's. I used to love to wear these in the summer because they have this pretty detailing like with gold on here, but you know what? I really don't wear them, so bye. I think I'm doing really good with my goal. Like I'm looking at my pile and I'm really proud of myself. Okay. So this next pair I absolutely love. They are Tory Burch wedges. I can't remember the name of them, but they're the taller wedge and I still really, really like these, so I am keeping these. So this next pair of heels is from Bamboo. I liked the studs, but I really don't find myself wearing them, so see ya. So this next pair is from Madison by Shoe Dazzle. I haven't even worn these yet. I just bought them and I got the matching purse to go with them. So I'm super excited about this for summer and I'm definitely keeping these. So this next pair I'm definitely keeping as well. I love them. They are so colorful for summer and yes, I love these. I'm keeping them. 
So these I bought a while back at Nine West and they were super cute, but you know what? This look, I'm just not into this anymore, so these gotta go. So here's another really sparkly pair. I got these from a friend. She gave them to me and I love these. I like to wear these to weddings just because I feel like they, I don't know, they're like special occasion shoes, so I'll keep these. So these are a pair of booties by Lux by Steve Madden, and I loved these. I wore these so much. They are suede, but I don't know where I went, but something animalish got a hold. I don't know if I was at someone's house and their dog had a fun time with it while I was hanging out with the people, but somebody chewed up my heel, so these gotta go. These are some of my favorite shoes. They are lace up and they are um, Julianne Huff for Soul Society. I got these at Savers and I love these. I'm keeping these. Huh, there's the other one of these. It's going bye bye. You guys are probably going to laugh at this because these are so old looking because look how long the toe is. But I loved these. I bought these a long, long time ago on eBay. I won a sale of nine pairs of shoes for. 11 cents 11 cents for nine pairs of shoes it was like amazing and this was included in there and at the time this was super in but they're so not anymore so i'm gonna get rid of them so these ones i bought probably about eight years ago they're from coach and they're a heel but they're like a sneaker as well they're so comfortable and i do wear these like from time to time so i think i'll put these in a maybe pile as well it's weird. I put all the coach shoes in a maybe pile. It's weird. These booties are from Mossimo. I absolutely love them. I love how they have the gold detail here and then the zipper. And they're just really simple but chic at the same time. I love these. I'll keep them. These I just purchased from Clothes Mentor. They're just a simple black wedge from BCBG Generation. And so I've been liking these. So this next pair is from Ellen Tracy, and I really did like these when I got them, but I don't know if I've just grown out of them, or I don't know, I just, I don't know, I'm going to get rid of them. These shoes definitely need to be cleaned, but I still think they're really cute, and I have a top that matches them, so when you do the top with the skirt with these, it's really cute, so I'll keep these. So here's a pair for summer as well. These are Olsen Boy for JCPenney's, and these are literally the most comfortable shoes probably that I own in my entire collection. I could run a marathon in these. So I'm going to keep these for that purpose. <laughs> Not for running a marathon, no. So these next two pairs, a pair of wedges from Aldo and a pair of just heels from Delicious. I normally wouldn't keep these, but I have outfits that go with them so well that I just want to give them one more shot, trying them with the outfits, and then if I decide I don't want them after that, then I'll get rid of them. But for now, I'm just going to keep them for one more time around. So next is a pair of pumps. These are also from BCBG Generation, and I love that they come up really high right here. That's like one of my favorite features. Um, so they're just pretty basic, and I'm going to keep these. So this next pair, I don't know what I was even thinking. I used to wear these all the time for girls night out. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Look how big they are. They're just a wedge, but they have the ankle thing. And uh, no, no, bye. So I'm always on the hunt for a new pair of Black Mary Janes. I haven't found the perfect ones yet. These are the ones I have at the moment. They're from Nina. So I'll keep them until I find a better pair. But yeah, I'll hang on to these. These I love. These are so old from Charlotte Russe and they are just a red plaid heel. I think they're so cute. They have the little peep toe and yeah, I'm going to keep these. So these I got at Goodwill a few years ago. They are apartment 9, which is Kohl's. And I wasn't sure if I really like these, but I wore them the other day and they were really comfortable and they worked out great. So I will hang on to these. So these I'm going to put in the maybe pile. They are Steve Madden and they're just kind of like a booty that looks like this with the cone heel. I really like the cone heel, so we'll see what happens at the end. So these I bought so, so long ago. They are from Pulse. I think I got these at Deb. Do you guys remember that store? Um, yeah, I'm just over these. I thought about painting them black, and I thought maybe I'd wear them, but I just don't have time, so mm, bye. So these were so cute. They fit me like a glove. They have the leopard or cheetah or whatever that is print and the bow. I thought they were so cute. I actually never wore them. I was waiting for the perfect opportunity and it never came. So you didn't make it. 
also going to go in the maybe pile. I honestly don't even really like these shoes that much, but I know it sounds hoarderish. I have a dress that matches them perfectly. So I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to see if I even kept that dress. If I have the dress, I'll keep them for one more round. If I didn't, then off they go. Mm. These are from Rue 21. Rue 21 actually has some really comfortable shoes sometimes. Um, or they used to, anyway, years ago. So I bought these like a long, long time ago. And I don't know, I'm just not loving them anymore. Bye. I ordered from Just Fab a while ago and I really liked them at the time, but they just don't fit me right, so no, bye. The last pair is Sigerson Morrison for Target. I got these a while ago and I think they're super, super cute. And I am starting to embrace that smaller heel, so hopefully they don't kill my back. I don't know. Smaller heels tend to do that to me as well as flats, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to give these another go. So here are all the shoes that I chose to get rid of. It's actually 18 pairs, so I didn't do quite as good as I had hoped, but I'm still happy because it was a pretty good clean out. And these are the ones that I'm going to be keeping. It's 28 pairs in all, so it was a pretty good declutter overall, I'd say. So that was it, you guys. That was my shoe declutter. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this, including the flats and sandals declutter, because that will be very involved as well, please don't hesitate to let me know. And I thank you so much for watching Gloss and Sparkle, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Baby, leave your eyes.